All right, hey everyone. So I think we're gonna just go and get to straight to the topic of this one is um, a glass coating. I'm gonna try the, uh, as the title says, the Art to Shine uh, graphene window coating. But before I do that, I'm gonna do a quick update. So, you know, I was sent these air fresheners from, from CarPro to test out. These are the lime mint flavor. You get 50 pieces. I'm gonna let you know that, you know, they smell good in this package and in their individual package and they smell good for like a couple days but they, they just lose their scent so fast I, I wouldn't bother investing in those um, again if carpro, if carpro can make the scent last longer that'd be cool but again i've been popping them in and out like like there were candy in there um and then with secord skin i'm trying something different so i you know i had restored the the plastic trim on my dad's car here on the on the cowl here uh, this part here with the pinnacle black label uh, ceramic trimester which did a fantastic job at darkening it, darkening it up and I wanted to keep that dark look on it and, and then, so I wanted to try something because there's a skin you can use it on hard plastics um, for you know they actually on the copper global says you can use it on hard plastics because it's easier to re remove versus like a carpo deluxe or any trim coating uh, this one you can just use with a sol remove with a solvent and this one has UVA UVB so I was like oh, let me try it I'll lock in the darkening of effect from the, the trimmer store which I did like about a month or two ago uh, actually about a month ago same time when I put the the coating on on the car so I just did that okay so now the topic of this one is the glass so on my dad's Impala here I had put PNS view and PNS view was doing great uh, now the downside to that is I didn't wipe it off very well and I think it's because I reused uh, an old coating towel so I, I downgrade my paint coating towels you know, I toss them in a bucket, soak them in uh, Micro Restore, or now I have Rag Company uh, Rags to Riches. And that will kind of remove, if you get them in the bucket fast enough, they won't harden up on there. Uh, but they, those towels don't touch paint again. I use them for like wheels, uh, you know, coating we uh, these wheels, I would use them again, or coating plastics under here, or the plastic trim, like I just showed you. Uh, I use them to for the glass coating. Well, the downside of that is because I think those tiles were hydrophobic that I didn't remove uh, the PNS view uh, pr uh, coating when I was leveling it. So I had all these horizontal streaks uh, going this way. And the only reason I saw it is because I, I borrowed his car and I was driving in, uh, with the sun coming through the glass. I was like, what is that? And it's like, I just cleaned the glass. Uh, and so I knew the inside glass was clean. And I had wiped the inside up and down. Uh, so those streaks were on the outside going horizontal. I was like, ah, oh, I know what that is. And I actually had the, the coating streaks on it all the, all the way across. Like I could see them from um, when I, my last cross hatch pass must have been uh, horizontal. And so it looks like there's dirty glass. So it's uh, giving you that flaring effect when it comes in. So that's why I, would, I noticed with that one. And I had used the, the CarPro block and a suede when I applied it. So. Prior to washing the car, so this car's already been washed. Prior to washing the car, I had prepped the glass with, uh, I cleaned it first. And then I used the McKees 37. Ooh, it's getting kind of windy up in here. Uh, I had used the High Performance Glass Restore for McKees 37. And I used the PXE 80 with the uh, Lake Country uh, flat uh, polishing pad. That removed the PNS view. And so, like I said, this, the topic of this one is the graphene window coat from Art to Shine. I ordered this from Art to Shine USA. And they ship pretty quick. They drop ship from, I think, Irvine. So I got it within a couple days. And so in here is just telling you the back. Suitable for glass, may cause irregular wiper movement. Use at own risk. So at least they put that on there. Shake well and wait two minutes before opening. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shake it while I'm talking to you here. Uh, so in the box, you get the, the coating. This is a 30 mil bottle. Okay, so yeah, 30 mil bottle. And so on the, and you get the, the box here and you get this, uh, they send you this uh, applica applicator here. It's very similar to the, let me just put this down for a second, uh, to the G-Technic applicators. You know, these makeup style ones with the foam in there. Uh, you know, it's got your little pocket in here. So it's very similar to the G-Technic ones. Uh, so I'm just pop that in there. We'll use this one because it came with it. And it comes with some um, installer guide. And this print on here is so small, so you, um, if you're older, get your readers out because you're going to need them. Uh, let's see. So this is made in Singapore. Uh, so they drop ship here from uh, Art to Shine USA. Uh, and it tells you all the things on here, chemical resistance, you know, the pH stuff. 
if I'm not going to type all this up. I wish I, I wish I had a PDF so I can just do that. But um, here's a it's this uh, surface uh, suitability formulated specifically for glass windows uh, slash windshields. Can also be used on gloss matte clear coats on automotive body or wheel, vinyl wraps, paint protection film, acrylic parts, chrome stainless steel metal parts, uh, gloss slash matte plastic trims and and uh, fittings. Okay, installing on other areas of the automotive may affect your ability. Windshield compatibility may vary with age, make, model of vehicle, and wiper type. Use this product on your own risk. Wiper movement issues may occur. So at least they're telling you they may get some uh, shutter from your uh, chatter from your windshields. Okay, so curing time it's five hours or two hours infrared assist uh, assisted in the surface drive. Fully cured seven days or 24 hours if you use. Uh, IR light. Okay, and if it, it's seven days in tropical humid slash 14 days temperature dry, so with or without infrared assisted curing. So I'm going to leave this probably in the garage for uh, a few hours. I'm probably going to leave this car in here overnight. We're not, he's not going to go anywhere. Uh, durability, they're saying one year in normal conditions, 60 washes, pH neutral or less than pH 12. Bonding durability in extreme conditions, if you're using a pH of greater than 12, it's 30 washes, still they're claiming a year. Hydrophobic properties durability, normal conditions, one year, 60 washes, pH neutral, 30 washes, pH greater than 12. Durability will be reduced if wiper is frequently used and as the blades will erode the coating product. Okay, so at least we have that. Um, application temperatures in here. Pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, again, if you're going to go ahead and prep your glass like normal, you know, clay polish, the whole nine. Uh, prep wipe, I use the Meguiar's Surface Prep M122. And then we're just going to get to the application here for a second. It says product will turn blurry or cloudy after 15 to 20 seconds. And it says applied product should look like spreading liquid glue, not dripping wet. And of course, they tell you to wipe off. It doesn't tell you a flash time. I guess once it says product, once the product turns uh, slightly blurry or cloudy after 15 to 20 seconds, and you go ahead and wipe it off. Okay, so they recommend two microfibers. It says you can use a, a damp microfiber uh, to assist with uh, with removal. And it says just repeat on all the glass. It says multiple coats is not necessary and can be a wastage of product. A maximum of two coats will be more than sufficient and cover any missed out areas or an application. That doesn't tell you how much time uh, to wait. I, I imagine it's uh, like an hour or so. And of course they, they um, go into their, uh, app, their maintenance here. So every one to two weeks you're just going to wash it. Every one to two months uh, they recommend a alkaline solution shampoo to wash it so you can remove any heavy contaminants uh, every two to four months uh, you use a spray detailer they, they have their graphing detailer on here every four to six months removal embedded contamination is a clay bar fine grade clay bar and they're recommending their graphing maintenance coating or a soluble spray detailer such as their graphing detailer or their rx coating for a better water repellent so uh, again, you probably don't need to do all that. Depends on where you're at. Okay, so let's just get to the application portion. I kind of bored you enough with the uh, directions here, so we'll just go ahead and uh, shake it here. What is it down here? It says wait two minutes before opening. So they just want you to shake it because I, a bit of the RGO kind of sits at the bottom. I've been shaking this for quite a bit, so. Okay, so then that's probably why they tell you to wait because it's got the liquid up there. So let's go ahead and uh, take a couple towels with me. I'm going to use, this is actually an IGL coating towel. I'm going to use one and then I'm going to use one of these um, Edgeless 300s. So I'll go ahead and pop these on here. Take this applicator here. I'm going to take the phone up there just so I can make sure you guys are watching, able to see. I'll take another soft towel and put that here so I can see if you guys are got a good view.
Okay, so they recommend to put you know a couple drops here. So that's probably more than enough product. I, I usually like to uh, prime my applicators anyway, so if it goes on a little heavy at first, not a big deal. And they recommend a one by one uh, area of going again. They're using the metric system, so um, let's just go ahead and just apply it here. I didn't put enough on there because it's already flashing off. Okay, I'm just going to redo this section here. There we go. So once you prime your applicator, And I'll just do one section just to show you the application portion. And then just do your cross hatch pattern. Get your edges. So it's starting to flash already, probably because of the temperature here. And I'll just do half this uh, windshield while that's flashing. I said 15 to 20 seconds. There should be plenty of time to do this section. Yeah, this product's flashing real quick. Actually, I think I want to start just applying in circles as well. I think for glass, I like doing circles anyways. For paint, you can do your cross hatch pattern. Okay, so let me just go ahead and pop this off. I can actually see the top already could be wiped off. Pop this down. So I'm looking to see, and it's starting to uh, bead on here. So I'm just going to go over with this towel first. And I'll come back with the IGL one. So this side, uh, I don't know if you can actually see that part. It looks like they're just flashing there. So they recommend cleaning up all your edges first and then coming back. To level out your coating. And I'll tell you what, it feels slick on the glass. And then we'll come back with this towel. Oh yeah, you can tell. So it doesn't take long to set up to be wiped off. Okay, I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to go over one last pass. I can actually feel where I stopped. Alright, so let me just go ahead and do the other side. You guys don't need to watch me do the entire glass. You guys get the point. Pretty straightforward. Uh, you can actually feel the slickness underneath the towel. Pretty straightforward stuff. So let me just go ahead and uh, knock out the driver side here. And then I'll come back and I'll we'll kind of just get our initial thoughts on here. I'll probably just let it sit overnight in, in the garage. Just in case it does get dewy. I don't think it's been dewy here in the, in the morning. Uh, but again, I'll just leave it in here and let it cure for a few hours. So. Uh, again, let me just go ahead and finish that side and I'll come back and we'll finish uh, the, our talk on the Art to Shine graphing coat. Okay, so I finished uh, applying the graphing coating and it, it's pretty slick. I mean, it's not super slick. Maybe it'll get slicker as it uh, as it cures. But I mean, compared to, you know, dry glass, and again, this towel's not the slickest here. Uh, again, it does feel pretty, pretty slick. Now, I did have to come back with a, um, a damp towel. Let me just go ahead and wipe this section here. 
So I did have to come back with a damp towel here uh, because of, um, even after wiping it off, I, I brought out the uh, handheld here and I looked at it. There was still some uh, residue on here. So I just took this towel here, spray a little damp water on here, and then just uh, wiped it down on both sides. So it's, it's clean, it's uh, perfectly leveled here. I don't see any, uh, you know, crazy looking streaks back and forth. Uh, I'm only going to do one coat, so I think one coat should be good enough. Uh, again, the second coat would get you even coverage, not extended durability. And I ended up just applying that side, uh, doing circles like I was doing over here. I started doing them here. And I think that uh, does better than doing the cross hatch pattern because if you do the circles on here, you'll uh, spread out the product better, but you'll also get um, better coverage versus doing your cross hatch pattern. Uh, the applicator that came with it. Uh, this guy here, uh, it's okay. Uh, it did leave a little limp behind, so I'm uh, so I am seeing a little limp from this on here. Uh, again, works works okay, um, but I mean these are these are actually nicer because they actually hold product better. But if I was to use an applicator, I'd use uh, probably just use a suede um, to apply it, or I'd use a auto fiber applicator to do it. So that's the. Uh, graphene window coat. I'll get you guys video of the first wash with this one so you guys get an idea of what the water behavior looks like on here. But it does um, it does feel slicker than the PNS view at the moment. So again, that's just a quick little um, application video of the Art to Shine uh, graphene window coat. Uh, if you guys want to look into a, a different window coating, uh, we'll see how how it does. They're claiming one year. And see if it performs better than uh, Fly by Forte. Fly by Forte for me is my go to uh, glass coating. PNS View is okay. I'm, I'm noticing PNS View is not as hydrophobic as Fly by Forte, and we'll see how this one is uh, in terms of uh, hydrophobics and overall performance. So, again, that's the Art to Shine graphene window coating. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, go ahead and post below. I forget the price on here. I paid for this one. I think it was like 60, I think it was 70, 70 dollars, 70 US dollars. I'll post a link of where I bought it for those who in the, in the States uh, want to try this out. But I mean, there's plenty of product. I barely, I barely uh, touch this, this bottle. And they're saying that a bottle unopened on the installer thing is, is two, is two years lifespan, shelf life. Once it's open, it's six months. So I'm going to have to ask my brother if I can put this on his. And he can test it out because he uh, drives his car daily. My dad drives his car daily, so and he uses the wipers in the morning when it, during the morning do. So again, that's the Art to Shine graphene window coating. We'll see how this thing holds up over the course of a year. Uh, I'll probably end up topping it. You know, during the wash when I use a drying aid, I'll probably be using the graphene detail spray. You know, this leaves a little bit of protection or the SPS detailer. You know, I tend to use those uh, every so often. I'm really just trying to go through. You know, blow through this one. Uh, this one's actually, this graphene detail spray from Adams is a lot better than the SPS. Better gloss, better slickness, better water behavior. This one's all right. Uh, and then I'm using up Mystic. I'm almost done. Really nice product. I would buy it again. Uh, um, no problem. So again, uh, graphene window coating. Uh, maintenance is pretty straightforward as one of these uh, two products. And yeah, we'll just see how it holds up over time. Um, and uh, if, you guys, if you guys have questions, comments, go ahead and post below and I'll get to them as soon as I see them. Thanks for watching.